Filmora 14 vs Final Cut Pro. In this video we will do complete comparison of features of these to Beast, AI and Fast Video. Editing softwares to see which is the king of video. Editing. Stay connected till end so you don't miss anything. So without wasting time let's get started. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, Filmora 14 unlocks new possibilities for visual storytelling and effects, taking video editing quality to the next level within your breath. On the other hand, Final Cut Pro is a professional video editing software by Apple, renowned for its user-friendly interface and powerful features. It's a popular choice among filmmakers and content creators for its ability to handle demanding projects with speed and efficiency. Final Cut Pro is available for Apple users while Filmora is for Windows users. Let's see their features and choose the best. So without wasting time, let's get started. It is the advanced form of motion tracking. It is one of the best features of Filmora 14, which takes video editing to next level. In your timeline, click on the clip on which you want to apply planar tracking. Go to AI tab and enable planar tracking. You have WO models auto and advance. Adjust the position where you want to track. Click on Analyze, Filmora will process the movement of selected area throughout the clip. Once tracking is complete, create the new element, in this case we will create rectangle to cover the sign. Now select the clip and find link element. Use the element you just created. Adjust the scale and position. Now let's create the text we want to put into the sign. Drop down the menu and choose the text you just created. Our desired text on the signboard is done. In this way you can easily create do tracking. In Final Cut Pro there is no specific feature as planar tracking, but you can do motion tracking instead and its results are real good. For this import your clip, add trackers, align it properly according to your object which you want to apply motion tracking. If you are new to channel like and subscribe to Jugar Expert as we upload such type of informative videos, click on Analyze, it will detect the motion of the moving object. As you can see half process of motion tracking is done, it is tracking the object properly. Now time to add the text that we want to track. I will select this text and align it properly on the head of the walking man. Click on transform. From the drop down menu select object. Final result looks like this. In this way you can easily apply planar tracking. Let me know which software's planar tracking you liked most. Let's move towards next feature. In order to use this feature, select your all clips. Right click and create multi camera clip. Here you can choose synchronization method. Click on compound clip in timeline and select multicam button. This opens the window showing all camera angles. Just play the clip and click on clip and Filmora will swift to that camera angle. In this way you can fastly edit your amazing video. In Final Cut Pro select your clips. Right click and select new multi cam clip. Settings screen will pop up here. You can write and name do certain changing if you want. We have successfully created our multi-cam clip. Bring the clips to your timeline. From the top right corner select the angles. Now, simply click on the camera and it will automatically select that camera angle. In this way you can also create multi-camera clips in Final Cut Pro. Let's move to other features. This new feature allow you to create path for keyframes. This makes the animation more smooth and efficient. The end result looks like this. In Final Cut Pro, first of import the image for keyframing. All the process for keyframing is simple and easy. It will create path between first and last keyframe, and you can easily change the path to apply keyframing.
After making random path of keyframes, the final result looks like this. In order to keep the video short, we will not go to much details of this feature. AI sound effect allows you to create your own desired sound effects with simple prompt. This saves time for searching on internet for the sound effects. Final Cut Pro doesn't have this feature. You have to search on the internet for sound effects. In the color tab, choose AI color palette. Import your reference clip and click generate. You can make adjustments to color strength. By this feature you can apply any movie or series colors to your video clip easily. You can also use Color Palette in Final Cut Pro, but Filmora 14 takes leads in AI Color Palette feature. Let's move to other features. This feature is same as a Filmora 13. It allows you to auto-reframe your clip. We won't go in much details as you already know about this feature. Final Cut Pro also has this feature. You can easily do. Reframe your video to any aspect ratio. Do the settings and apply these, and our clip is reframed to 9 ratio 16 format. Let's move to next feature. Open Effects tab and select Face Mosaic. Filmora will automatically detect faces. You can choose which one's face to blur. Just single click and your face mosaic is done. This is amazing and time-saving feature. In Final Cut Pro, you can also do face blur of anyone by the following the process, but we cannot do multiple face blur in one click like Filmora 14. So in this feature, Filmora 14 AI face blur feature takes the lead. Filmora now has the Video Enhancer feature, which will novert your low-resolution video to high-quality video with the help of AI in few seconds. Final Cut doesn't have specific AI Video Enhancer feature. These were some of the features of new Filmora 14 as compared to Final Cut Pro. AI Face Mosaic is my favorite. Tell me which feature you like the most. It's up to you which software you use. Use both and choose the software which best fits your needs. I hope this video will be helpful. Like, share, and subscribe to Jugar Expert for more helpful and informative videos. Thanks for watching.